For practice 6.13 strip comments, we need to write a method named strip comments that accepts a scanner as a parameter and removes all of the comments inside of it. So comments in Java are going to be like this, where we have a starting point and an ending point and everything in here is a comment, or when we have two slashes like this and then everything behind it is a comment. This is similar to the 6.12 exercise where we stripped the HTML tags after this code. However, it's going to be slightly different, but it's going to use the same principle in this while loop. So if we go back to 6.13, we can start writing our code. It needs to be a public static void. It's going to be called strip comments. And it is taking a file as a parameter. Um, that is a scanner. So we're going to have a scanner file. We need to read through every single line of this file. So we're going to use a while loop to do that. We're going to say while file dot has next line. And we are going to read the entire um, file. So when we get the first line, we're going to need to store it so we can analyze it. After we analyze it, we can use a while loop to run through it, and then we're going to print out that line after we make some modifications to it where we take out the comments. So first we're going to store it. We're going to say string, and we'll say line is equal to file.nextLine. And then we are going to actually need a while loop. And this while loop will run as long as we have this, this, or this in our um, current line because if it does that means there's a comment in it and if there's a comment in it we need to take it out so we're going to say while line dot contains and we're going to need, need to do this three times so we can just copy this and in parentheses we will have a forward slash star representing the beginning of a comment we will also have an or and then we're going to have line dot contains a star forward slash which represents the end of a comment and then we're gonna have another or and we're gonna say line dot contains where we have two forward slashes which represents a entire comment everything after that we're gonna close this with our braces and then we're gonna do a system dot out dot print line where we print the actual line after we run through this while loop so if we look at this first line as an example we're going to run through this no problem because it doesn't contain any of our possibilities, any of our conditions. It passes our while loop, doesn't even go in it, and it will just print the line. Now we need to look at this line. And this line has a starting um, for the comment, but it doesn't have an ending. So we're going to need an if statement that handles that in our while loop. We're also going to need the store, the index, of these comments that way we can use them in our substring to break this string apart so we're going to say int first and we're going to set that equal to line dot index of where in our index of we're going to have a forward slash star uh, there will be a video below on indexes of but basically what this is doing it is checking to see if our code has a um, forward slash star and if it does it's going to get the index of the first part of it so that'll be the forward slash and we're going to also have an int last and that's going to be equal to line dot index of where in our index of we are going to have a star forward slash and what this is doing is if we use this line as an example it is seeing if our code has this, which it does, and then it's going to store the index of the first part, which is the star. Next, we are going to see, um, or next we're going to store this comment right here. This is where we have two forward slashes. We're going to say int comment, and we're going to set that equal to line dot index of, or inner index of, we have two forward slashes. So it'll check if our line has two forward slashes and it'll get the index of the first forward slash. Now we need to handle our conditions. We're gonna do this in an if statement. We can look at our program to make sure we know that we get all the conditions down properly. So for this first line, it's gonna pass through our while loop. 
but for the second line we need to write for it so we can say if our line dot character at zero is equal to and then we do single quotes because it's a character if this is equal to a slash and we'll have another part that handles the rest because if our line if the beginning of our line has a forward slash that means it's automatically a comment because if it's double slash that means the entire line is a comment because everything after a double slash is a comment and if it's a forward slash it will be a comment until it hits um, this star forward slash but we can say if our line dot character at zero is equal to the slash and we don't have another of this we don't have another um, slash right here to end the comment that means this entire line is a comment so we're going to say if line dot character at um, zero is equal to slash and line dot contains but instead of doing line dot contains we're going to say line does not contain so we're going to have a logical not operator at the front right here so we're saying if line does not contain and then in here we're going to have a star forward slash which means if line the, if the line starts with a slash and it does not contain an ending slash like this well then the whole line is a comment and if the whole line is a comment we're not going to print it out because there's nothing to print out so we're just going to take the next line and store it in line so we're going to say our line is equal to file dot next line and then we're going to break out of this if statement we're going to have a couple more if else if statements here but we're going to have to go through our while loop and then examine this line again so we have this part and this takes care of this line um, now we're going to look at this second line so what if we have um, an ending code or if we have a ending part like this and we don't have a starting part well what we can do is just print out everything after this ending part because we know everything before it since there's no starting part we know everything before it is going to be inside of a comment so we're just going to print out what's behind it and in here it's a space so we're going to say else if in else if our line dot contains and if our line contains the ending comment and it does not contain the starting part so a forward slash star if it contains the ending part but it does not contain the first part we know that we're just going to print out everything after the ending part so we're going to say line is equal to file dot um, substring where we take the substring of everything after this so we're going to get the last part however we need to add a plus two to this the reason why we need to add plus two is because I said earlier that when we get the index of we get the index of the star so if we are to look at this one for example we're gonna get the index of the star but we don't want the index of the star we want one up from it and then we want a second up so we're gonna go from one two, and then we're just gonna print out everything after that and that's what we want here we want to print out everything after this so we have this first part and then the second part and then we're going to print out everything afterwards that's why we have to add two so this line is taken care of this line is just going to skip our while loop and so is this line because there's no comments in here now we get to this line and we need to handle what happens if we hit a comment like this in our code so we can say else if line dot contains and inner line dot contains we will have the two comment then what we need to do is actually print around this comment so we need to print out everything before this comment since it doesn't start at zero we don't need to worry about it being this first part if it did start at zero it would be in this if statement with this part so we're going to say that our line is equal to line dot substring and we're going to go from zero until we hit the comment and the comment is the index of the first slash 
if we had multiple comments in here, what we would do is we would take um, all of this code. Like, let's say if we have something like this, where we would have, or actually this line's a perfect example, where we have this part. And this is actually gonna be our next else if statement. We need to look at this right here. We have this part, and then we have a comment here, and then we have more code after that. So we need to handle this, because so far, we haven't written anything that'll be able to handle this. We need to print out all of this, we need to print out everything um, after this as well. So we're basically skipping over this comment. To do this, we need to start off with an else if statement. And in our condition, we, we know that it's not starting at zero. We know our comment's not starting at zero, otherwise it'll be caught in this if statement. So what we can start with is we can say that our line is equal to the line dot substring where we have zero and it's going to go until it hits the starting part of the comment so which is first right here so it's going to run until it hits first but we also want to add this ending part right here so to totally skip over this we can run our first substring from here to here and then from here to here so after our um, plus in this else if statement, we're going to say plus, and then we're going to do line dot substring, and we're going to start it at this ending comment um, plus two. That way we get um, the correct spacing. So we're going to do last plus two, and then we're just going to end this line here. I'm going to fix my spelling. And then we need to fill in this parameter. And if we look at this line, we are going to say that our parameter is if our line contains this comment and this ending comment. So if it contains a starting comment and if it contains an ending comment. So we can really just copy this part and then just delete the not operator. So if our line dot contains the starting part or this ending part and it contains the starting part, we are going to manipulate our line in here. Once all the comments are filtered out, we're going to break out of our while loop and we're just going to print it in the system.out.print line. If we submit this, I definitely forgot semicolons. So I got more errors and it's because even though, although this is this is fine, line is equal to file.nextline because if this entire line is a comment, we need to scan the next line. This one should be line.substring. If we submit this, still have another error if our method contains a string in variable type string um, I spelled this wrong as well so if I correct this then we have passed all the tests so my first error was right in this line where I was I said file.substring when it should be line.substring the reason why this is file.next is because if there is no um, code in here if it's all commented out like in this line there's nothing to print, so we're just going to scan the next line. However, this one has to manipulate the actual line. I forgot some semicolons, and I also spelled contained wrong, but fixed all those, and then I have passed the test. So this is the code that will give us the answer to this problem.